You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? One of those things, it's that secretary <coughs> of his, well, hello there. her, and Another one of the poor and stupid air. of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? I don't beg, you stuck-up old bat. Fine. Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Bitch. What did you say? Oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Tell me a joke. No. Not now. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Hey, Takahashi. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Yes? you eat that food. Uh, Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? Real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hide the mother. Just a minute, Yehim. I am in middle of the story. So then, 
by a crossing river, wearing nothing but a smile. When the outcomes, the, the most dangerous of all sea monsters. You have marvelous A Meyerlerk! A Meyerlerk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. Vadim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yakfin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. The best part of Diamond City is honestly the lights. Hi. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Hello. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Let's see what you have. Good. Good. Need a room? Deal. You're in room two, just through the door. Come, come, have a drink. Hey, I think those Bobron brothers are looking for you. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! The old museum of witchcraft, near Salem. Move along! Why would anyone even go there? He pulled the gun off me. Brother. Okay, My own brother. show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks What in your happened? I'm, I'm not a synth, I... I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Hey. My God. Kyle. Officer. I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, Officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Know you just keep your distance why because i don't know you and i will not serve a synth pretending to be human so are you human no i'm jangles the moon monkey that's just what a synth would do ducking the question we don't serve your kind here hey myrna 
I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Let's see what you got. Just don't call it junk. Myrna. Remember, I don't serve sense. Supplies are just... Let's see what you got. Here's what we got. Hey there. Hey, you're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Let's see what you have. Everything hand tooled. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a Nuka Cola. Sheffield. Nuka Cola. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. You there. You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Hey, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That <laughs> right, little Miss Smarty Pants? Well, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? The teams would also beat the spectators to death. Yeah, 
That's how the term spectator sport got started. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? I don't need anything. <sighs> no respect for the sport. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. <clears throat> Around here, we call your haircut the Scav Special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. That'd be great. All right, take a seat. Doctor. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? You don't have cures for chem addiction, do you? We can sober you up. Please, don't be an idiot and go out drinking immediately after the procedure. All done. Any other complaints? No cuts or bruises or anything. Glad to hear it. Anything else? No. More done. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Hi. Has Quiet. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. 
And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust hey. that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even... Aha! Uh -ha. You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff. Dear. Professor. Hi there. Dr. Duff. Are you here for today's visit? Biology Bother lesson. Her. Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but. Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Who gives a crap, Rays? No, nope, not quite what we're looking for. The answer is gamma rays. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? You are one huge nerd. I, for one, take that as the highest compliment. Science teaches us the lessons we need to survive, now more than ever. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job, I get paid. Money? Oh. Um, how about, uh, 125 caps? We're talking hunting a giant mutated bug. There's risks. That would explain why some students don't come back. How about 150 caps? <laughs> I need more. For science. Well, if it's for science, 200. Get the bloat fly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. 